Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net here on Facebook and eventually make its way to other places like YouTube. So let's talk about a MetaTrader and my view of it. I really try to make an honest effort with Awanda. I mean, Awanda, if the broker stays in place, MetaTrader itself is really a complicated beast to work with. Um, it's in its own proprietary language, MQL4 or MQL5. I know there's a big market there. I tried to uh, connect uh, my signals by email into uh, into MetaTrader and um, to be honest it's really flimsy it's just I've tried a lot of things so thought I would put all the trading logic into uh, an, an expert advisor uh, and I've just typed up the quote or sorry up the spec here in the back end of my website here uh, so this is it here so this is a logic as well and then there's a spec that you can download right here so that is still valid um but the technology is going to have to change metatrader i just got the quote back from my coder he's really awesome but it's a little pricey i've supplied two indicators with source code and i was just really focusing on the trading logic uh to execute the order and handle the entry and the uh, exit unfortunately it's pretty expensive to do that and it, you're spending that kind of money on something that may not work. <laughs> um, the logic is pretty basic. I've, I've tested it in both MetaTrader and Emotive Wave. It looks pretty valid. Um, doesn't mean it's going to work, though. So my synopsis is basically to uh, focus and put 100% uh, effort into the Python version of this. I know I can bang this out in probably less than two hours. Uh, I can put this on both Oanda uh, for Forex and crypto using CCXT for any broker. Obviously, you know my uh, exchange I like the best is um, Kraken. Uh, I can also put it to Coinbase, to Binance, whoever I want. So my point here is... MetaTrader uh, is just something, it's like a black box to me was where you can code it up and connect it to a Forex broker. I really don't want to put the time or effort into relearning a new language when I've got the same equivalent in Python. Uh, and one of the big major drawbacks of MetaTrader is I like to use the order book. The order book on the broker is so critically important to get snapshots of trading opportunity. And with the flexibility of Python, I have the ability to uh, really take advantage of the order book because that functionality coming from Oanda is available through the REST API through a Python wrapper that Oanda has put out on GitHub. So that functionality you can't get in MetaTrader and that gives you a huge advantage. And even if you decided to use the Oanda indicator that Oanda provides, you get a refresh rate of, of 20, 20 minutes, and you also have to, I guess, apply or qualify for the five minute. And the five minutes is no good because with the one I have in my workshop for the Forex is in real time. Um, and it's very powerful. So this back end you're looking at right now is the elite section. If you are interested in this, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm taking an early bird list right now. I have to cap the number of people I take for this. If you are interested in the elite service, it gives you access to everything for the next three years. Okay. With Python all in now and maybe down the road focus on Motive Wave just because of the power of what Motive Wave gives you. But that's more for a uh, professional uh, level uh, asset classes like either stock or options and futures. Because that's where the real cash is at. But you have to have a fairly large account for that. So if you're interested in this... Just sign up. You just come over to the quantlabs.net elite uh, page. I just built this last night. It'll give you a little blurb on the video uh, on the big benefits of this because it includes the Python algo trading uh, bot course that I've been using. And it's a framework, as I said. I can build, once you master it, you can build bots very, very quickly in Python. And, and, and we, we haven't even talked about. Um, the machine learning yet as Google's uh, TensorFlow 2 just came out. And that's a huge, huge deal um, because people are putting a lot of emphasis on research and models and building the models. 
That's not what it is anymore with the likes of TensorFlow 2 and the community and all the other new things that are built on top of TensorFlow 2. You'll be able to bang out new models, new stuff using other people's unique uh, third party open source trading stuff basically and work on that and just work off the data. So life will be, be way easier, way more advanced using Google uh, TensorFlow 2, which is, again, all of its open source. So, again, that's one of the big, big, big reasons why you want to be on Python instead of these third-party uh, platforms, with maybe the exception of something like MotiveWave, which is really powerful in itself. And the new 6 just came out for MotiveWave as well. So I think those two combinations are really good. So for the next three years, when you join this service, I'm going to have a small subset of people available for this. You will get access, as said here, uh, the lifetime access. Let me just get rid of this stupid thing. Lifetime access to the um, to, to to the private chat server. Uh, we are pumping out live uh, webinars. Uh, we've got um, good, decent returns now from the crypto. No matter what you read, uh, the mainstream media only focuses on Bitcoin. So there's a lot of benefits here. So all because it's in Python. I'm open source. Um, and, uh, the meta trader, I just don't think it, it's viable for advanced or even intermediate or want to be Python developers that want to lead, be led into things like machine learning because all the other retail trading stuff out there is going to get outdated pretty quickly as a lot of the big trading firms are and are, and pretty well are on machine learning level type of systems to make trading decisions. And automate and forecast so that's the way we are that's the direction we're going and with more sophisticated uh, techniques in machine learning so this is the direction we're going in and even just for those that are interested even from my own statistics MetaTrader is a very small subset of people um, with Python and I've done the research on just Python it's just massive I've done podcasts I've done Facebook post YouTube videos on both topics, MetaTrader and Python. I will guarantee you I can get five to ten times more response with Python than I do with MetaTrader. MetaTrader is, is, is okay to work with, but it's very limiting on what you can do. Um, also, if you've not uh, seen uh, my late, latest 24-hour, maybe we'll call it a two-day, three-day episode of where another system that I, I rely on, my trading system, it crashed yet again. And I've stated these reasons, Seagate hard drives, they suck. And um, basically Ubuntu just doesn't know how to gracefully handle crashes where I've now be built it up. And I'm still on in danger territory with with um, with Ubuntu or, or Mint, which is kind of a modified version of Ubuntu. But the, the fact is I've got a Western Digital the NAS drive in there that's running 24 hours so it shouldn't burn out and crash the system like before. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm going to be cloning stuff. And uh, one of the big things, I, I, I'm trying to work with Microsoft stuff again. The Windows is a pain. I just got hassled again yesterday for my Office 365 subscription, even though it's legitimate to take me till August 2020. So these third-party proprietary commercial stuff is just something I'm not a real big fan of um, outside of maybe office and that's it and um, everything I'm, I'm gonna try to get another system if you could see that monitor there it used to be a yeah you can see it right there and right uh, that one right there well it, it doesn't matter it, it, it's gonna be turned into a, a Linux box no more Windows because I'm just dropping this Outlook stuff it's just crazy what I tried and it's just it's too much maintenance and other people are challenged by it too so uh, as I said that's one of the big reasons why I'm going with uh, window or sorry Python on Linux maybe mint um, I've tried some other if, if for all the Linux nerds out there I've tried Fedora man that's that's a beast to set up the installation is nowhere close as as, as good as mint um, and maybe Debian might be better I don't know um, and, uh, uh, Ubuntu, no, no, Mint, Mint's good. I also tried Manjaro as well, which is Arc, Arch, Arc, uh, based as well. 
that couldn't even pick up my little Wi-Fi card on the box. So that's pretty well out the door there as well. So I uh, just wanted to let you know all those updates as well. So if you are interested in this nerdy stuff, the uh, Elite here is good. Uh, the deal basically is $9.97 for three years, but that's going to be taken away. It's going to be reduced to two years and then $9.97 for one year and maybe a second year at an extra payment a year later. Like, so that's what we're looking at. But either way, a lot of people are enjoying this membership. So the Python and stuff is fine, but that's included in this level. So that's what I'm going to probably promote for the next little while. But again, I'm only going to have a subset of um, three-year terms at that price I just gave you. So sign up and I'll, I'll be doing some blast to that specific list uh, over the next uh, couple of days, probably starting early next week. And that is about it. Have a good day, and we shall talk to you later. Bye.